So Nazis, um, I want to say thank you for supporting us in the spirit from heaven, from subscribing, hitting the bell, and everything, a big thumbs up button. Um, and I'm going to talk a little bit about Ramadan, you know, how last year we couldn't get together in Ramadan because COVID, and you might say, there's still COVID, but everybody's getting vaccinated. People have their two shots or even their one. It's fine. They have masks, sanitizer, and all these amazing things. And tomorrow's Ramadan, and we'll say Ramadan Mubarak, and we're getting together in our masjid again. We are coming to today night. Um, I think we have iftar because we have to celebrate, like, because Ramadan's coming, you know. And this time we're going to get together, eat dates, milk with water, you know. We're going to be happy together. And this Muslim actually sacrificed her whole life, because I'm talking about sacrifice, not like, somebody that you really, really love, then you block the bullet. No, it's just that sacrifice, like, for Islam, you know? And this beautiful Muslim sacrificed her whole life, like I said, and I'm going to give you a couple of examples about sacrifice. First one, in Ramadan, you know, sacrifice your comfort, sacrifice your desire. We sacrifice our love of food, love of water. In Zakah, we sacrifice our money that we have, we, we give to poor people or people in need. Um, Fedj, when you wake up at night time and make a do and pray, and you sacrifice your amazing sleep. And another one is Hedge, when you sacrifice animals. Hayd, when we basically sacrifice sheep. And the last one is Hajab, when we sacrifice not showing our hair to other people. Um, and, well, you mostly can, if you're a girl, you can show it to girls, but not boys. If you start being hijabi. And this beautiful Muslim did a very good explanation of sacrifice. Her name is Maya bin Khayyat. May Allah be pleased with her. And her son's name is Ammar. And her husband's name is Yasser. They were the seventh people to enter Islam. Um, her and her husband were slaves. And she acts, um... She, her and her family sacrificed everything for Islam. They sacrificed their family. They sacrificed the Prophet. They sacrificed the love of Jannah, you know? And they loved Jannah till they sacrificed because they loved it. And, but there was a problem, a very hard moment in her life. And so what is a hard moment? Is that she didn't want to sacrifice Islam. Like, imagine you don't want to sacrifice Islam when you're a Muslim. Till Abu Jahl came. This is actually her sacrifice story now, because we're starting out talking about sacrifice. This is the story that happened to her when she had, when she was a Muslim. So Abu Jahl came, he said, whoever enters Islam, I will torture them. So he puts everybody in steaming hot sand, like the sand is steaming hot. Then he says, and then he starts stabbing them. So he stabs, I think, the girls. Then for the boys, you know, when they get a long time ago, they get the belt. Then start hitting them in the back. Yeah, that happened. But she got the most painful death. She got hanged and got stabbed. Just imagine. And Abu Jahl also did this. He, like, stabbed her in front of her son. Like, subhanAllah, you see your mom getting stabbed is so sad and painful in your body. And they, before she died, they asked her these two questions. Who is your God? She said, Allah is with Dada. They got angry. He didn't want to hit her yet. He said, who is your prophet? She said, Prophet Muhammad said, she, He got really angry until he stabbed her. SubhanAllah, like, seeing your mom getting stabbed is not amazing. It's really sad. And this amazing role model she did in her life is amazing. Like, amazing, amazing. And I want to say Ramadan is a very good example of sacrifice because you're, again, you're sacrificing your comfort, your desire, love of food, love of water. You know, you're sacrificing all these amazing things in Ramadan. May Allah protect you guys in the masjid. May Allah protect you guys all and make you guys have the best Ramadan. And yeah, Ramadan Mubarak, make sure you guys have the best Ramadan. Wake up for Sahur today. Um, and my our masjid's name is um, Terbeya Institute. Make sure you go there.